All right, let's talk about complementary and supplementary angles. Now, the things with complementary and supplementary angles is that it's not very hard. You just need to remember which one is which. Now, I found this cute little meme to kind of help you. Here, it says, My, you are a cute angle, which is kind of like an acute angle. And this one says, As are you, my friend. And it says, you two are right together. Look, the right is the right angle. So two complementary angles make a right angle, which adds up to 90. So we just need to remember that complementary angles are a pair of angles which add to 90 degrees. If we know that, then we can easily use it. And let's see how we can use it. So sometimes they might show us a question like this and we can see that it's a right angle we know it's a right angle because of this pink box all right the pink box gives us a clue this is 90 degrees then it tells us an angle that it wants us to find x and it tells us an angle that we've used up which is 19 degrees so how do we do this complementary angles well we can write I like to do a little symbol like this for my teachers so my teacher knows um, that I know what the complementary angles are and then I just say well all together I have 90 degrees and then I say how much have I used up I've used up 19 so I'm going to take away the 19 that I've already used if I do that, I end up with 71. So that tells me that X equals 71 degrees. That simple. Let's try one more. Here. Here it's asked me to find the size of ABD. So if I want to figure out what angle that is, I start at A, trace down to B, and then go to D. And it's the angle that is formed. So it's this angle right here. Again, I can see the little box that signifies 90 degrees. So I can draw a symbol here for my teachers. Hey, I know what complementary angles add up to. I can do 90 because that's how much I've got in total. And then I look how much is used up. Well, that's 37 degrees. 37 degrees is used up. If you need to go like this, that is perfectly fine, okay? We can do it like that. 10 take 7 is 3, 8 take 3 is 5. So I've got 53 left. So I can say angle A, B, D equals 53 degrees. So for complementary angles, they add up to 90 degrees. So I just have to take the 90 which is the total and take away the angles that are already used up next we have supplementary angles in supplementary angles always add up to 180 so they form this nice straight line and it's angles that form a nice straight line that are supplementary angles and they add up to 180 we're going to use basically the exact same procedure so we've noticed that it's a straight line, so it's going to be supplementary angles. Again, we look how much have we used up. And we can calculate the size of X from there. So again, I'm going to draw a symbol for my teachers. Now, I know I've got a total of 180, so that's how much I'm going to start with. Then I'm going to take away the part that I've already used, so I'm taking away 78. And that is leaving me with 102. And so X equals 102 degrees. Just like that. That's simple. Let's try one more. Find the size of H, F, G. So I've got from H to F and then G. So it's this angle here that they want to know. Again, I see that it's on a straight line. So I know it's supplementary angles. 
I'm going to draw a symbol for my teachers so they know. How much am I starting with? Well, it's a straight line, so that's 180 degrees. How much have I used up? Well, that is 106. So I have 74 left. So the angle HFG equals 74 degrees. That simple. So like I said, these are not very hard, but we just have to remember which one is complementary and which one is supplementary. So complementary angles, they add up to 90 degrees and supplementary add up to 180. If you can make sure you don't get confused between the two of them, you shouldn't find the problems very hard. Now here is a cute picture of my dogs who have a lot of swagger as you can see.